What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we are answering the question of how to remove spaces from a string in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. So to actually start removing spaces from a string, we actually have to have a string that has a bunch of different spaces that we want to get rid of. So in this example, we are starting off with this, what I call the space string, and it says you will benefit from subscribing to Case Digital, which is true, um, but it has a different, you know, levels of spaces. So we got just one space, like a regular sentence would have multiple spaces in a row, quadruple space in a row and when I run this we get Python Python examples we get hey original this is the original string and that's what it looks like when you print it out so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you several different methods that you can use to actually remove these multiple ones and can clamp all this down into just like one solid string without any spaces in it so let's hop right in and start talking about method number one so the first method we're gonna use is the string dot replace method and this is the method that's pretty much my my, my tried and true the one that I always use the one that my usually go to because it usually does what I wanted to do. Now the other ones I'm going to show you, so stick to the end because the other ones I'm going to show you have their different um, purposes that you would use to do the way that you could, you know, remove those strings or the spaces. But in this method, what we're essentially going to do is we're going to say no spaces. This string um, is going to equal to the space string dot replace. And I'm going to say a space. So, so single space is equal to um, nothing or nothing right there. So just quote end quote. Um, and I'll show you why we do this here in a sec. But when I run this, copy this, we'll print this out. I'll show you what it does. And this is the replace method. So when I run this, what you'll see is we get, oops, let's run that one more time. You'll see that we get replaced and it says you will benefit from subscribing to Case Digital all in one word no spaces. Now, the reason I did one space is because of I have knowledge of how this string is constructed. In a sense, if I did this as two spaces and I run this, what you'll see is I get something where it's like all the single space stuff is gone, but all the double space stuff is been squashed together. And so I didn't really actually remove all of the spaces. And so that's why like in this method to remove a single space or like whether they're a single space by itself or like multiple spaces, you know, like we see here, you have to say that a single space is is replaced by essentially nothing or an empty string. And when you do that, you bet end up with the result of all the spaces now are removed from the string that we had. So that's method number one. That's the replace method. Um, now let's start talking about method number two that you can use and do this in a similar way. So here is method number two. Hey, I just want to jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, Let's get right back to it. So in this method, method number two, essentially it is just what we're going to call is using join um, or split. Split join is essentially what it's called. Um, the reason being is we're going to say that this no spaces string, we're just going to copy all this stuff right here and we're going to pull it down here and we're going to say this is going to equal to, um, ah, here we go. So essentially we're going to say we're going to do a join. So an empty string dot join and then a join needs an iterable. So it needs something like a list essentially. And when you do a uh, spaces string dot split and it's empty, it'll split on white space and it'll split on those spaces. And so essentially when I do this, this will bring, give me a list of all the stuff separated by space values. Um, and I can show you that here. So if we print this out, then what you'll see is I'm going to join that in and combine it to an empty string, which means basically iterate through and just, you know, every value in the list, just make a single, um, all kind of squashed together, no spaces, just like what we saw above. So if I run this, what you should essentially see is there it is. There's everything being split from the original string. And then we uh, squash it together. We'll run that again. And we squash it together and there you are. Everything is combined into a single list with no spaces. So that is essentially another method that you can use um, to remove spaces from your string in Python. And so what, one thing that you'll notice too is like you would think that if this was just going to split on just a single space that you would have had like for instance in between subscribing and two, you would have thought you'd have like a bunch of empty strings. But in this case, the split just remove this as a bunch of white space and just remove that completely. Um, and so you're left with just you know, the actual word, you know, rather than a bunch of individual empty strings. So that's just a note on that one. But this is another method that you can use to create an empty string in Python. So let's actually move on to one of the last methods I want to show that you can use. And it's actually one that a lot of people may shy away from because sometimes they may think it hard, think that, think that it's hard. But in reality, removing spaces with this method is actually not that bad. So let's start talking about method number three. So this last method that we're going to use that I said some may think is a little hard is actually using regex. And now a lot of times when 
Developers first hear the word regex, they're like, oh crap, I got to remember all this, you know, complicated stuff and how to get, you know, the regex to split stuff out and whatnot. But with spaces, it's actually really easy. Um, to use regex, though, you actually have to import the library called RE. Uh, so that's what we're going to do right there. It stands for regex. And I'm just going to copy again all this. And we're gonna say this is the regex method. And all we're gonna do is essentially do, um, a lot of times, like you'll have a pattern. So our pattern is going to be, like if you know regex characters, our pattern is essentially going to be, um, is going to equal, and I'm gonna say it's a raw string. To make a raw string, you put an R in front and then do that, and then do backslash S plus. And this basically says, this is the regex to find um, like a single space, like one to many um, spaces or white space characters in a row. And so essentially that's our pattern. And when we use regex, we actually, what we're gonna do is almost similar to that of what replace does. Like replace almost essentially swaps or substitutes out a single space for an empty string. And so that's what we're going to do. We're gonna do regex or re dot, and then they have a method called sub. And in this method, what you need to do is you need to provide the pattern first, which is what we're gonna do. So our pattern is going to equal the pattern. And then you're going to do the basically the string that you want to replace it with. And so we want to say an empty string. And then the string that you need to go through to and, and remove all the, you know, the, the spaces. And so that's our space string. So if we do this, and we'll say regex, um, and essentially no spaces. If we run this, we should see that now our regex method is again, contains no white space. All the spaces that you see up here in the original have actually all been removed, and we're left with a string that's just been squished together with no spaces in between. And it's that simple. Um, so there it is. There's three different, I almost said four, there's three different methods that you can use to actually replace um, white space or spaces uh, in a string using Python. So use this, let me know which one you like the best in the comments below. I personally usually go with the replace because um, it's just there, like that's the string method that's there for you. Now again, there's times where, hey, I may want um, all the individual words in a list format and splits might be the best and I may use that list later on and combine them some way using this join. Um, but essentially, if I'm going to replace strings, I'm going with uh, the, if I'm going to place spaces in a string, I'm usually going with this replace method. Very rarely, but I do sometimes use is that actual regex pattern. So let me know what you use. Leave a comment in the in the comments below. And if this video has provided you any value, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Let's continue to learn about um, software development, Python programming, any other you know software framework or language that I find interesting. And until next time, keep on programming.